Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The General Hospital GH spoilers for Monday, April 1, show that Sonny Corinthos, Morris Bernard, discovered Dante Falconeri, Dominic Zamprogna, strolling around with a nurse at GH, which made him happy to know his kid was doing better. Once Dante was back in bed, he told Sonny the truth about what happened on the pier and supported Jason Morgan, Steve Burton. Sonny admitted he spoke with Jason and discovered he was an FBI agent. Although Dante believed Sonny should hear the entire story before ending the friendship, Sonny acted as if Jason was no longer the same person. When Jason arrived at Elizabeth Baldwin's, Rebecca Herbst, Dor, Aidan Weber, Enzo DeAngelis allowed him in. Liz appeared and informed Jason that she was now the head nurse, and he congratulated her, but he was saddened to learn of Epiphany Johnson's Sonia Eddy death. Jake Weber, Hudson West, soon came downstairs and demanded explanations from Jason, who could only claim that he got in trouble and had to take a job he didn't want. Jason would have gotten in touch to let everyone know he was still alive. Jason implored Jake to believe him, but Jake acted as if Jason should not pretend to know him or care. When Jason chose to go, Elizabeth joined him at the doorway. Liz didn't blame Jake for his reasonable thoughts because she too had questions, but she was relieved to see Jason alive. Jason thought it was great that Jake wasn't afraid to express himself, but Liz intimated that he was a fearful teen below, most concerned about losing his father. After Jason left, Jake questioned Elizabeth whether she knew Jason was alive but didn't tell him. Liz informed Jake that she didn't know and provided him with a secure area to express his feelings. Jake basically admitted that he felt terrible for thinking it was easier after Jason died, but Liz pointed out that Jason did not lie or fabricate things. Jason still cared for Jake, so Elizabeth expected him to keep coming back and attempting to communicate with him. At the invader, Alexis Davis, Nancy Lee Gran, argued with Adrian DeWitt, Dieterich Gray, the gossip colonist, until Diane Miller, Carolyn Hennessy, interrupted with breaking news. In a private conversation, Diane informed Alexis that Neil Byrne, Joe Flanagan, had another elder brother named Fergus Byrne, who has had to withdraw himself from the committee in charge of deciding Alexis' disbarment. Diane believed that because Fergus' law partner had replaced him, all of this was murky and would assist them in having the disbarment reversed. Alexis revealed that Molly Lansing Davis, Kristen Veganos, was worried about drinking again if she continued down this path, but Diane encouraged her. After Alexis argued with Adrian again, she encouraged Diane to do her job and get out of there. Natalia Ramirez, Eva LaRue, barged into deception before Blaze, Aka Allison Rogers, Jacqueline Grace Lopez, could sign a contract to become the new face of deception. Maxie Jones, Kirsten Storms, Brooke Lynn Quartermain, Amanda Seton, and Lucy Coe, Lynn Herring, attempted to lock Blaze in, but Natalia had some concerns with the terms. Natalia disliked the concept of Blaze being portrayed as edgy because the word had bad implications. Blaze agreed, saying she preferred to think of herself as creative instead. The thought of Blaze being a spokesmodel and hawking Deception's products didn't appeal to Natalia, but Blaze proposed a compromise in which a second model could handle things like shopping channel appearances. After Lucy provided her approval and Blaze's contract was signed, Natalia requested the Deception team's assurance that Blaze's private life would stay confidential. When Maxie inquired whether it was what Blaze wanted, Blaze spoke up for Natalia. In Anna Devane's, Finola Hughes, office, she met with Detective Bennett, Kendrick Cross, about a new candidate for the police academy, where Bennett was an instructor. Anna revealed that Dex Heller, Evan Hofer, was ex-military and that she was giving him extra time to prepare for the written exam. When Anna stated that Sonny was Dex's old employer, Detective Bennett became doubtful of this PCP edition. Bennett was also perplexed because Anna earlier appeared to have a soft spot for Sonny, 
but Anna clarified that this was no longer the case and that Dex could be a valuable weapon in the fight against organized crime. Sunny then stopped by to chat with Anna about Dante's recovery and inquire about any additional charges that may be made against Jason, who was still on the rooftop that night. Anna acted as if Sunny had the guts to ask that when Jason had clearly saved his life up there. This was now an FBI case, but Anna stated that she may still pursue Sunny for assaulting Cyrus Renault, Jeff Koba. Sunny was taken aback by Anna's sudden shift in attitude toward him, but she was done allowing the past to cloud her judgment and was not going to let things slip any longer. Anna eventually ordered Sunny out of her office. When Jason saw Dante in the hospital, he praised him for the pressure bandage and 911 call that saved his life. Jason felt it was his fault. Dante was on the dock in the first place, so he joked about withdrawing his gratitude. Dante finally brought up Sonny's conversation with Jason, as he was aware Jason was an FBI informant. Jason assured Dante that he was not assisting in the assassination of Sonny, but he refused to further. Jason could only say that the leverage left him with no choice but to do whatever it took to keep Sonny safe. According to General Hospital spoilers, Sonny's difficulties with Jason will lead to greater difficulty, so we'll share our predictions for the chaos that lies ahead. CDL is the place to go for the latest General Hospital spoilers, predictions, updates, and news, so check back often. According to General Hospital, GH, teases for Tuesday, April 2, Stella Henry, Verney Watson, will make a surprising discovery when she finds Curtis Ashford, Donald Turner, standing and taking some steps at home. Stella will worry why Curtis is hiding his development from his family, but he may admit that he wanted to get stronger and be certain he could do it before telling anybody. Furthermore, Curtis may have felt awkward celebrating his own triumphs when Trina Robinson, Tabiana Ali, was grieving the loss of Spencer Cassidine, Nicholas Alexander Chavez. Of course, Stella will assume Trina will be pleased to hear this news, but she may delegate responsibility for informing everyone else about Curtis' health to him. Meanwhile, John Jagger Cates, Adam Harrington, will have a new strategy for taking down Pikeman, and Anna Devane, Vanola Hughes, will want in on it because it is taking place in her jurisdiction. On Tuesday's episode, John will also face off with Jason Morgan, Steve Burton, prompting Jason to doubt if he should continue to follow their deal. Unfortunately, Jason may have no choice because John still has leverage over him. Although Jason can no longer work covertly, John may still want his assistance with the Pikeman takedown in some capacity. Whatever the case, Jason will finally admit to Anna, and we'll see if that includes further information regarding his agreement with John. It appears that there may be more to John's leverage than the GH writers have disclosed thus far. Dex Heller, Evan Hofer, will go forward with this interview in the hopes of officially joining the PCPE. Dex will speak with Detective Bennett, Kendrick Cross, about a stupid and ugly reason to die, thus he may reveal information concerning Cyrus Reynolds, Jeff Koba, near-fatal shooting, and Sonny Corinthos, Morris Bernard, harshness. Anna believes Dex's experience working in Sonny's group will benefit him on the force, so perhaps Dex can persuade Bennett and win a proper position at the police academy. Next, Carly and Michael Corinthos, Chad Duell, will exchange confessions, which will most likely involve exposing some Jason-related truths. Michael may admit to hiding Jason at the boathouse for a spell with Willow Corinthos, Ketlin McMullen's assistance. Carly can also discuss Jason's FBI informant predicament and Sonny's recent reaction. Willow will have a talk with Carly on Tuesday's episode, and she will voice her confusion about Jason's failure to keep Carly informed about his survival and other details. Willow will wonder what changed after she assumed Carly and Jason had told each other everything. Drew Kane, Cameron Matheson, will get under Nina Corinthos, Cynthia Watros, skin at crimson, by asking what she has ever gotten in return. Nana's vindictive schemes always fail, so Drew may believe it's time for her to accept that. Based on Ava Jerome's Mora West, 
recent conduct, our forecasts suggest Nina will find new reasons to seek retribution. According to General Hospital spoilers, there will be conflict between Ava and Nina in the future, so stay in to find out what happens once Ava's sunny ploy fails. CDL is the place to be for the latest General Hospital spoilers, predictions, updates, and news, so make us your go-to GA source. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.